Hello guys and welcome to the weekly asset roundup with me, Pug Gaming. An astonishing number of assets have been released this week as well as a game changing mod that we have a quick look at. It can only mean one thing, it's the weekly asset roundup. So to kick things off this week we have the return of Jez and his beautiful model of Saint Pierre de Rennes. Now if you haven't caught any of Jez's work, check out his workshop. He's done some absolutely amazing French based buildings. The model itself is based on a 7x12 cemetery which is quite interesting, at least it gives the building a responsibility and not just a pretty site. So that's a good little feature to add in there, you can actually get some use out of this. But the model itself, designed very very highly, beautiful textures. I think it's just an overall great building and if you're building a French based or European city this will fit in absolutely perfectly. And not only that but he's been very busy this week and we've also had a beautiful market hall released. This is based from Dijon and it's quite an old historic building from what I understand but it's beautiful. Again very very French looking, the architecture is beautifully represented in this model. And it's not really something I'm used to seeing here typically in the United Kingdom so it's great to see a different contrast of culture as well in terms of this market hall. And what I love best about this whole wall, this whole pack of releases from uh, Jez is it's opening up our opportunities now to build a more French based city. So excellent work, check out his workshop for everything else he's done, beautiful work. we have Exurbanite with this grubby roadside commercial suite based from the 60s and well it certainly looks like it's based from the 60s a beautiful very small building but very highly detailed which is what we love to see in city skylines with only a 2x2 plot required it's a level 1 commercial with only three jobs but it's more than enough and it's reco placeable a very very nice building to add into your grubby rundown areas. Up next we have the return of Yimbrana and I hope I've pronounced that a little bit better than my last time. This model is the Vieille de Brousse which is an old stock exchange built in the 1600s and undoubtedly the town's finest building in Lille. And the model itself certainly gives that a lot of confidence. Look how detailed this is. The roof itself, there's not many buildings that concentrate on the roof details, but the whole building itself and nighttime views are stunning. Up next we have a very quirky little model here. This is by Mick Crosshill and this is a parasailer as a ferry. And how awesome is that? So we've got the little boat pulling across the bloke on his parasail. A very original and very clever idea to combine an asset. Great work, look forward to a lot more from this guy. Up next we have Infinite's World and this is the Hooters restaurant. Now restaurants are in my opinion a dying breed on the workshop, there's not a lot of good detailed restaurants to put in your cities or towns, but this one is a great example of what we want to see more of on the workshop. Now the model is on a 4x3 plot and there's 4 colour variants, so a lot of availability for you to spice up your cities. Up next we have a pile of garbage by Vanya and I'm not talking about the actual quality of the design. These are actual piles of garbage both as a decal and props. Perfect for blending in those landfills or any sort of run down areas or building sites. Up next is the return of Lost Gecko and he has put away his green fingers and pulled out his trowel. He's back to building these beautiful Belgian buildings. These farmhouses are one of a kind and the level of detail 
as per the other two recently released, are exceptional. And as we talked about last time, the buildings themselves may be based on a Belgium theme, but they are still very similar to many European buildings and very, very good for out in the countryside. So certainly worth having a look at if you haven't done so already. The Utility Man is back, it's Seth Korn, and this time we have a absolutely beautiful doctor's office. Now it seems like this model includes everything that the recent updates have offered. We have the beautiful glass where you can see through, you can see the props inside. The texture levels are on point as we can always expect now from this creator. And it has that modern feel which is really, really cool. We do like the modern feels nowadays in these city skyline builds and we are lacking some modern utility buildings so it's a good job this man is still producing. Up next we have Ronix's short grass and this really is short grass, something that's missing on a workshop. As usual, beautiful texturing from Ronix and something I can see myself using a lot. Sticking to the green theme, we have a new release from Mr. Mason. This is the Norway Sprunts and well, look at this. This is great detailing, fantastic tree. An interesting release I saw from Simo G is these pride and parking bollards, which can really add a bit of texture into your car box. Up next, the return of Beard Monkey and his amazing sandstone buildings. Now, I won't make myself look silly and try and imitate something that looks decent. If you want to see something that uses these buildings very well, check out the Asara current series by $2.20 and Skibith. Not only that, but Armesto also has created these giant but beautifully textured pyramids. Again, purposely built for the Asara series, but it also opens up a great possibility of what we can now design in City Skylines. Great assets all round. Up next we have the Mikado Passenger Train and this really caught my eye in the workshop. The model itself I believe has been created by a number of different asset creators but Geometry has created the additional effects on this train and it looks absolutely stunning. Not only the visual effects of the steam, but the actual design of the carriages, the train itself, all the meshing is done wonderfully. And I can certainly see this working very well in a very old fashioned town or city. The mod itself is pretty much going to be the next big game changer of City Skylines and what you're able to do with it is going to be absolutely astonishing. The creator Simon Royer has managed to create a mod that allows you to change the shape of objects in game. So as you can see here you can change different areas of the models that you can import to pretty much create exactly what you want to see. Now the mod has only been out a couple of days but we've already got our first batch of assets created using the actual mod. Now Koznak has created these metal foot bridges and as you can see in these next shots you're able to stretch this as far out north, south, east or west as you'd like to create the ultimate bridge and it also means that it's only going to be one asset so it's going to bring down the number of assets in your build. And to finish off this week's episode we have Dazar and this Sicily Church which is an absolute beautiful model as usual from this creator. The level of textures of these walls are unforgettable. I love the orange roof and bright walls, it really gives you that Mediterranean type of look which is perfect for anyone creating a European build at the moment. Excellent work as usual. So guys, that brings us to the end of this week's Asset Roundup. As always, please leave your comments below. Let the creators know your thoughts on their models and give inspiration for new ideas and what you'd like to see next on the workshop. But as for me, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like the video if you did so. Until next time, all the best.